Today's National Fentanyl Awareness Day. And all of us here on Great Day want to use today as an opportunity to talk about this extremely dangerous drug with a variety of local health and law enforcement professionals in our community. And you will learn throughout this morning here on Great Day that there is a fentanyl crisis right now, right here in our home. Our first guest is Sonia Dosti. She is the Fresno County Public Information Officer. And she played a huge part in making today's show all about fentanyl awareness. Good morning. Thank you for being here and for getting up so early. <laughs> my, my first question I've got to ask you is, uh, how did Fresno County get involved with dealing with uh, fentanyl? So it happened about a year ago um, when there was actually an overdose and a death of a high school student. And that actually happened uh, days before commencement ceremonies. And so the DA, Lisa Smitkamp, um, she held a press conference with all of our law enforcement officials and the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. And she really sounded the alarm about this, this problem, this crisis. And so um, I had just started at the county and she and I spoke about working on a campaign that we could go countywide. Um, so what we did is we put together our resources and we created a billboard campaign that would go throughout the county. And um, we have flyers, PSAs that we've been working on. And it's not just the county and the DA. We work with the Fresno Police, the Fresno Sheriff, DEA, Homeland Security, Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, all of our school districts. And it really, what's typical about Fresno is that we all work together. When we have a common goal to raise awareness about something, um, we really do a great job of coming together to allow um, all of our resources to work sort of in favor for the county. So you just talked about all of the different uh, agencies that are partnered and you talked a bit about the campaign. Yes. There's so many different aspects to it. Yeah. Um, how, how do you, how do you it, it sounds like it can be a, a bit of a beast to control and manage. Yeah. How do you do all of that? Well, again, with the PSAs and yeah. all of the flyers and such. You know, we are just trying to proliferate every channel that we have. You know, the billboards are all over the county. We have them even in neighborhoods where we know there's a Spanish-speaking community. So we have Spanish billboards. We have Hmong billboards in areas where there's a stronger Hmong community. Um, so the billboards is something that we've been handling. Um, Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, they've had the PSAs uh, on different television channels. They've had them uh, in the movie theaters. We put them on social media and to be honest we almost don't mind if we're just crossing channels and having it everywhere because the whole point is that we want people to see these images see the PSAs wherever they can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well what kind of resources are available for someone that may be uh, dealing with a family member or themselves dealing with fentanyl? Yeah. Well, you know, we have several different websites. Um, our behavioral health department, they have one that's opioidsafefresno.org. Um, that allows people to know about the different resources that are out there. Uh, the fresnocountyca.gov site has also a fentanyl page where we talk a lot about the, the different law enforcement angles of it. And then there's fentanylawarenessday.org, which has a lot of the facts nationwide about what's happening. And this particular Awareness Day, it really is um, not just the different counties and the different law enforcement organizations, but there's also um, Google, I think Apple, all, I mean, tons of companies, I think it's like 300 now, wow. have joined together for today. Okay, but what if somebody out there says, all right, well, I don't take fentanyl, right? so this doesn't, this isn't a concern to me. Well, that's what makes this insidious, is mm -hmm. that it's not someone who goes out and says, hey, I want fentanyl. That's not how this works. It might be someone who's even struggling with maybe mental health problems, and they might say, well, I don't have a prescription for Percocet or Xanax. So they go through the different channels, find out they have a friend of a friend who sells it. Um, the problem is that those types of pills that look exactly like prescription pills have trace amounts of fentanyl that could kill someone. It wow. really could be just one pill that kills someone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, um, I think what we have to understand is that a lot of these pills that look like the prescription pills are actually manufactured overseas, China, India, and then they come into the United States, and they look just like a regular prescription pill, and that's wow. what makes it so frightening. And I particularly want parents to understand that their kids have access to these through their social media apps. They can easily purchase these and get them delivered into their mailbox. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Sonia Dosti, thank you so much thank for your you. time today. We thank really you so appreciate much. It. Really appreciate you and for all of us. your efforts. <laughs> well, thank My you for word. helping us to get the word out, <laughs> for sure. And we will continue to do this all day, for sure. If you 
or someone you know needs help, whether it's for mental health services or substance use disorder services, just call the number you see on your screen, 1-800-654-3937. Again, 654-3937. They are real live people that are available to talk right now. Here are the top headlines just posted on our website at KMPH.com. Remember, you can keep up with all the latest news always online. And keep up with the latest local headlines anytime by searching for the Fox 26 Fresno app anywhere you find your phone app.